All right, everyone, welcome back. New day here at this amazing rummage sale I go to bi yearly, I guess would be the right word, here in New Jersey. Got here pretty early. This line is going to, well, there's, you see cars are coming in now. I'll try to get a picture of the parking lot before I go stand in my line. This is the toy section. And this is holiday. So there's all these different tents. And each tent has a different topic. And I'll show you the parking lot now. Which is over here. I know you come to one of these rummage sales, I'm showing you guys a parking lot. Anyway, I don't know if you can really see. There's my Jeep hanging out there. There's only four or five, six cars out there. This thing will go past that flag of cars. I mean, there's, you can't see all the way to that tree line. There's a road, uh, road over there. It literally will go all the way over there when we leave. And I'll show you exactly that. So you guys, so you're not thinking I'm joking, but that's a toy section. Anyway, um, all sorts of tents with different items. This is usually the busiest tent is this one right here. Uh, that's where you have all your household stuff. And you can see it's usually double. That I think is like their linens. Uh, but that is all their stuff. I, however, am going here, which you might be like, you can't see it. This is action wear, which <laughs> every time I come here, I'm always the first person. This is sporting goods right here. Um, and this usually gets a lot longer than action wear. Um, I just gravitate towards clothes, so that's why they come to this section. Uh, there's no vintage really in this section, but all your sports jerseys and, you know, stuff of that nature end up here. Your jackets. I saw a couple sports jerseys popping through on the side. What does it say? Rainwear, $4. But yeah, there's all these different tents for different things. And it ends up being a fun day. It's a rummage sale, so it's held by one organization that does this whole thing. Um, it's not a yard sale, like with different vendors. But this is all donations. Computer section. That's your dry goods. That's more linens. That's needles and crafts. There's jewelry. This is women's clothes. On the other side of this tent, I think there's music as well. So lots of fun stuff. This is probably the third year, fourth year I've come here, and it's a blast every year. The only thing is I wait here for like, wait here for like two hours in line, which I'm the first person in line, but with the parking situation um, and everything else, it just, it gets too hectic. As you see, there's already four or five people in that line, two hours to go. If you show up 30 minutes before it opens, you might not get into the first uh, the first entry because only a certain amount of people are allowed to go in at one time. Uh, I don't know if it's maybe 30 or 40, 25, but after that 25, 30 people, you have to wait until X amount of people leave before you can go in. So you kind of pick your one tent if you get here early enough and you stick around and you know, if you want to go to another tent after, you're going to have to wait in line regardless. So, you want to get first entry into whatever. I wish this, uh, I wish this was open so I can kind of get a sneak peek. But what are you going to do? Granted, yeah, I, I, I'd probably just step back and be like, don't worry. Let's see what this is. So, you got a little varsity jacket. The problem, these things are coming back. It's 2007. Uh, the prices here, I wouldn't say they're extremely expensive, but like something like this, I think it's 12 bucks. Concerning, I have no affiliation to Somerville, and what I leave that for someone who might even want to be it. You know, somebody who might want it. Uh, somebody might have graduated around here. Uh, they do hang t shirts up on the side, but it's pretty much just a free for all. This is probably the chillest aisle out of all of the aisles. Um, question pants went to sort of eight dollars. Uh, talk a little bit about the end, but you have to pay 25% more. I got in on the friends and family day, 
Uh, so these are what, like 10 bucks a pop? I, I just, I can't use them for $10. This is all the stuff I got. Didn't get anything like too crazy. I saw one sports jersey I really wanted and uh, it was not really what I thought it was. If they still had that jersey, I'll show you it. It was a New York Rangers Liberty jersey, which I have the same exact one, but it was like a local high school. I can find it, I will show you it. Vintage Mets hat. There's a couple other vintage hats here. This is, I think, Somerset Patriots. This one looks like it's in pretty mint shape. One size fits all. Let's see if it fits on my head. I know it's kind of weird putting on a hat here. Just found this whole stack. I think the hats are two dollars each. It's newer. It's newer. All right, that's a good score. So this is. I ran because I saw this sleeve, which is the New York Rangers, and then right when I did that, I was like, that's not actually the color of their jersey. And it's the, uh, I don't know what that, this might be just, uh, oh, it's the Sales, the Sales University, but I don't think they have an actual hockey team. Like, they don't have, like, a legit hockey team. This must be, like, their club hockey team? The Sales University, but it's... I feel like that would be a tough sale. I'm going to leave that. It's kind of cool. I think they're $5. I, I don't... I think for 5 bucks I'll leave it. But it's the same... Like, this is what the Rangers jersey. The alternate, like, from the late 90s, their Liberty jersey. I have two of them, but... For 5 bucks I would have grabbed it. But it's not it. At all. What number are we on? You wait till you get this is four dollars. Yeah. Yeah. So this one is three. Been chopping four. All right, I got three six sets of four. Seven. All right. So welcome back, my first haul. Seventy bucks. Ah, man, this stuff's heavy. They're now parking people on this adjacent lot right over here. But I'm walking back this stuff, then I run to the sporting goods. I got some decent things. The uh, stack of Yankee hats, I'm shocked those were there. Um, any of those older 2000s gray bottom hats, as long as they're in good condition, especially like the Yankees and Mets, do very well. Um, just the other day I was looking for a Mets black hat because they used to wear these black hats in the early 2000s. And there's like none of the uh, actual like official ones on, on eBay. And the ones that were listed like 70 80 bucks they used to be like 25 dollars at the store so i grabbed like two of those i don't know if i'll need this bag. oh well you're right you know i might have another bag in here and without getting too much into politics i think uh new jersey banned plastic bags like three days ago so i don't think this place even had bags but you gotta bring your own bag. I know some states have done it. Goodwill, I know, has done it as a corporation. But I had a smaller bag in there, of course. Somehow, miraculously, I took it out and never put it back. It's 
Probably not a bad deal. Eight bucks for that basketball. I have a sidekick today. Unexpected sidekick, but I could take it to my office. The dollar? I guess so. I'll grab that for a dollar all day long. Those baseballs are 15 bucks a piece, not signed. Oh. This is what I was talking about with that Rangers jersey. That's it, it's the same exact jersey. I'm like shaking, dude. I feel like I need to drink water probably. It's surprisingly not that hot, but it's kind of hot. Oh, let's see, two for a dollar and the baseball's over here. See, that's such a great deal. I mean, literally, it is an awesome deal. What is this one? Let's see if not, it's one of those synthetic baseballs, promo baseball. So yeah, if you ever find even these, wow, that's bringing back. Two for a dollar is just an absolute crazy good deal. Not really. Like maybe a teeny bit, but not really. I lost my spot. I heard someone talk about sports jerseys and I completely lost where I was going. Where the heck was I going? I was going to still look at the baseballs. Oh, watch out. But yeah, two for a dollar is an insanely good deal. But they look like they're all used. But if I was like, official training ball. Never seen that one before. It's all muddied up. I can find one of those other baseballs I was trying to tell you about. Like this. That's no, alright, it's all scraped up. But any of these official balls like Atlantic League, National League, American League, Major League, this one's all scraped. You who? got here nothing crazy I did grab one glove it's about like a 70 80 dollar glove used for 12 dollars so I guess I'll grab that oh that's cool I haven't seen one of these in a while didn't find didn't know there was this one check out this holy smokes it's got to be a hard hide. I can feel the leather on it. Oh my goodness, it is. Stan Musial model. Hard to hide. Get a little bull looking thing over there. I don't have a clue what this is worth, but I think it's worth a lot more than $12. Let's see if this, this one doesn't feel like it feels like a player model. Somebody's name in the middle? Nope. Mark of a pro. I think that's, uh, this is pro player. Not pro preferred. <laughs> All right. That is such a good deal. Such a good deal on those baseballs. I can't tell you. Like if I wanted to like wholesale them, I probably can sell them for a buck a piece. How much are these hockey pucks? One dollar each. Don't want to get sucked in buying hockey pucks, but I see that. Oh, we got a Rangers puck. Grab that one. They have a cross They're a buck Buying stuff I absolutely don't need, but I'm going to buy it when it's a dollar.
This was sitting up front. I just, I guess it's for sale. I mean, why would it not be? Here you go. A2000. This is, I would say, 2005, 2006. 20 bucks. What a deal. Holy smokes. That's amazing. I literally probably spent like $50 on three baseball gloves. That is insane. And I know definitely one of them is worth twice that. Holy golf bags. Scooters. Lower, but I think that might be a little tall for you. A little bit. I did uh, basketballs over here, but not haul around basketballs, and you have to pay a premium anyway on today. Um, but I looked in here to see if there was any. This one looks like it might. Now it's not. It's a synergy. Look for any of those stealth bats. Here's one, but it's a little league. It's got a oh, yeah. I don't know what's on there. Oh, that's funny. I broke one of these in college, and this uh, piece right here snaps in. So this whole whole thing like collapsed. It's not supposed to do that. But it's the same exact bat, this DeMarini Vexum bats. I'm always looking for a stealth bat. If you can ever find one, I don't need it, I don't use it, but it's worth a decent amount of money. It's the orange and blue one. But it's gotta be adult size. So this is, this is adult size, two and five eighths. Can't even use this bat, it's a different style certification. I spent, I think, six, excuse me, sixty-four dollars right here. All right, I went to the toy section. Twenty-five dollars Tonka truck. This thing's fifteen Tonka wrecker. Is this horse? No, it's not. What the heck is this? Structo transport. That's old. Oh, uh, it comes with the top piece. That's twenty. Or the, the cab or whatever you call that. That's pretty much it. Yeah, one Tonka here for 15. Ooh, micro machines. That's only six dollars. How many? We do have a bunch of cars in there. I don't know, that might be a good deal. I might have to hold on and think about that one. I feel like that's a really good deal. Six bucks for it. Who knows how many are in there? Oh, remember I found a bunch of these at the yard sale? Three bucks for this. That's not a bad deal either. For anyone super interested in video games, five to eight dollars. Some are eight bucks. These are the older stuff, Game Boy stuff. Um, it looks like so that's eight dollars for Bomberman. It looks like there probably was a ton of N64 stuff, and now it's all gone. So I mean, it's probably stacked all the way to the front. Same with over here. Thirteen dollars. Always lots of Wii stuff. For any gaming people out here. But in terms of like the Nintendo stuff, that stuff is all white clean. And it's kind of like one of those things, like if you're interested in that kind of stuff, you gotta be one of the first like two or three people in this door, because I bet a lot of people for the toy section come for the video games. for certain games. All right, I'm gonna get the micro machines. I think for $6, it's a fair price. You do have to pay a little bit more. It's uh, talk a little bit about later, but friends at family day, you have to pay a percentage on top. It's 25%, so it's probably like, what, $8 or so? I don't think it's too bad of a deal for eight bucks. I don't know if there's stuff inside this little barn or that's just like, like a house because I'm trying to figure out the weight on it and trying to figure out if there's cars in there because the thing's full of cars. I don't know if it's a carrying case with like individual slots or if it's like a little miniature town or building. But there's, I don't know, I can count probably 20 or so micro machines on the far side. 
All right, major sensory overload. We are now in the... Always check to see if these might be stern -like. These are not. Um, we're now in like the home goods. I call it home goods. It's like your furnishings. I don't think they really have primitives here. This is kind of cool. Oh, this is all beer sun stuff. If I had a bar, I would absolutely love to have this. 1986. I feel like I should put it in this one. That way you can see the other stuff in here. Maybe I'll put it back. This guy needs to be up on a shelf. I'm going to be that guy. Put him right here. It's a great spot for him. Probably come back in 20 minutes. It'll be gone. You can thank me. This is kind of neat. Is this new? I've never seen one of them. But it's got to be new. See, I looked at it and my eyes gravitate to it. That's good marketing. All right. This is the uh, the building where the longest line I would say at this place is is definitely this building. Black has the most everything. Before I go over, oh, excuse me. I go over to the tool section. Not like I need more tools. Do I really need any of this stuff? I don't think so, but I gravitate to it. Measuring tapes. We, oh, I think I picked up some yardsticks here before. See any yardsticks? See any yardsticks? Well, we're gonna do. We're gonna. Do you guys want to do the kind with your? How about these hatchets? Four dollars. This one's kind of neat. Being able to cut it would be super important. Yeah, I was like going. They don't need fans. They just need it to not make a block. Yeah. <laughs> At this rate, I'm going to get a hat. I don't know if that last one's worth it. I think it's a Boy Scouts hatchet. People in next to me are arguing. I don't know if I need this. We're now in the furniture section. And I gotta say, this there's there's a lot of nice furniture in this building. I guess this might be a water bucket. It's kind of decorative. I wouldn't really trust it for water. That's kind of nice. That's thirty-two dollars. Um, these are all the chairs. But I did want to show you some dressers, man. They had some really nice dressers. Wow. Chair section full but empty. Full of chairs, empty of people. This is nice. Solid mahogany, legs and border. This is nice. Comes with a mirror. There's one other piece. What was it? Oh, this one. That's 120. That's nice. Not for me, not my style, but I can appreciate nice. These are also nice.
That's cool. It's no embossing. I've had embossing. I think I'd buy it for four bucks. Kind of like a blob top. Not really a blob top, but sort of like it. What's our new for this? That's just a, there's a lot of vases. Talk about lamps, how many different lamps are there? are so many different vases and candlesticks. That orange one's kind of neat. I think it's modern. There's a lot of stuff here. missing the rest of it. I thought it was a scale. Yeah, it is a scale. Maybe it's not. I think it is. There's some cool things here. I'm not buying any of it. Go figure. guys are enjoying the video I don't know really what to record here because there's just so much stuff and I don't know what anyone's interested in if I'm trying to get a broad spectrum of things a lot of the stuff is kind of like home goods kind of stuff it's nice I think it's nice but it's not like antique or Granted, all this stuff is bun-up shirts. I never even knew this whole section had stuff like this. I'm trying to figure out what the price is of shoes, because I look over here and it just says, as marked. And it doesn't, it's not marked. <laughs> so I feel like these might be kind of worth it. But I'm not really into, like, sneakers, so I don't really know what the heck I'm looking at. Ugh, maybe not. Glue's kind of coming off, it looks like. I'm not a huge high top kind of dude. Um, but it looks like it was kind of ransacked. There must have been stuff up there. <laughs> Alright, let me see if I can somehow stand up here. I was going to stand on my bumper, but I'll probably take it off. Maybe I can lift the camera up, I don't know. But it's very full. Until next year well until the fall if I make it for the fall I plan on it um, but it's packed time to head out this also this is open all the way through the weekend I know it's gonna rain um, if you own a vehicle that is not four-wheel drive I'm not gonna say don't show up but it's gonna get muddy out here and this uh this field is gonna get really bad I can tell you right now that's just just how it's gonna happen but it's open through the weekend I think Sunday is a bag day also. Has to <laughs> just nicely put all the clothes out, uh, the, sitting right on the clothes. Hey, can you, yo, over here. All right, so I'm back for the normal recap. Just made it back home. Uh, an awesome trip all around. It's always a blast to go to the sale. I do it uh, twice a year. I'm very fortunate to have a friend who works or volunteers at the organization, uh, and I can get in for the friends and family day. However, Friends and Family Day, if you guys might not be familiar with it, is, you know, you get to go in on a day where all the friends and family members of the volunteers get to uh, essentially shop. Um, but everyone has to pay 25% more um, than the sticker price. So you get in early, but you have to pay a little bit more. I ended up spending a little over $150 for today, but I got a lot of good stuff and I'm very happy with it. 
Um, just kind of, you know, a lot of clothes here. As Salsa starts to drink. It wouldn't be a recap video without Salsa drinking a bunch. But uh, got some cool things here. Salsa already sat on this stuff. So all this stuff's going to get washed. Uh, I do have a couple hockey jerseys. So we have a Team USA jersey there. I think there's another one all the way back there. Nice Red Sox jersey. Unfortunately, I didn't actually, like, go through everything once I picked it because there's just so many 10, so many things to do. I figured if I was going to sit down and, like, look at what I picked over and, and empty everything out on the ground, which was completely mud by now, um, I would probably make in more trouble because I wouldn't be able to go to the other tents and whatnot. So I kind of got lazy and just, like, whatever I picked up, I never went back and re-looked. Uh, unlike a thrift store or another rummage sale, I would probably do that. But with just so many things going on, you kind of want to get to the next tent as soon as you can. Uh, so we have a Red Sox jersey here. This is a size small. It is an official jersey. It's got the patch on the back. Rugby jersey. Um, clothes like this, they were, I think, $5 a piece with the premium. But if you bought three of whatever it is, so if you bought three of this, the fourth one was free. So for every four you buy, essentially one of the four is free. So $15 for three of them, or for four of them. Um, yeah, so that's what this stuff was. I think this is an older, yeah, Team Nike, Carmelo Anthony, USA jersey. This I accidentally bought. Um, when I picked up this jersey, the, uh, the things were hooked together, the uh, hangers. So I just took them both and I never put back the other one until I realized just now that I never put it back. I don't know, I guess I'll just wear it for myself. It's nothing really crazy. I think it's a uh, well, size large. So uh, just like an, a wicking, I don't know what you call it, wicking material, kind of like Under Armour. This is kind of cool. There was a couple vintage stuff, vintage tees. Got an older Taz shirt here. This one, I have no idea what it is. It must be a comedy or something. I thought that was kind of neat. On a Stenman tag. I don't know, it kind of looked different. Another USA Hockey jersey. Uh, we got one Stanley Cup t-shirt. So I didn't really see a lot of sports stuff or college stuff there. At least I didn't grab a whole lot. I mean, there is a bunch here, but I didn't grab as much as I usually grab. There was another guy there who I see every single year, every single time, and he's usually third in line or fourth in line, or he's first and I'm second, or we're always there. And he buys pretty much the same exact stuff. Uh, so <laughs> it's kind of funny. Like we pretty much buy the same things. Uh, but he said he doesn't do, uh, he doesn't do sports jerseys. So that's that. Uh, but nice old devil's tee. This is probably my favorite t-shirt. I think this is from a zoo. These older zoo tees. So colorful. And it even has a back print on it. It's almost like a wraparound design that doesn't really wrap around. As you can see in the screen print right here. There's that line. It's, so it's supposed to be a wraparound tee. They just don't really wrap it around. Um, <laughs> but a really cool t-shirt there. These also were, I think, $4. Oh, yeah, so the T-shirts were $2, so something like this was 2 bucks. The same deal applies. You buy three, the fourth one's free. So let's say you buy six, you essentially get two for free. You get your seventh and eighth for free. Um, this is nice little, like, uh, and the Rangers are doing well right now. I mean, we're in the playoffs. First game was kind of rough, but uh, they're doing well. Got a Rangers little zip there. Uh, this was kind of cool. I did find some reverse weaves. So we have one reverse weave. On the older tag there, USA made. We have this one, which I've had a bunch. For some reason, I've somehow found this same exact sweatshirt probably three or four times. I don't know how, the same colorway, the same this, the same that. I don't know if it's the same size. Usually it's like an XL or a large. This one is an XL. I don't know how I always find the same one, but I do. Uh, another older champion sweatshirt. This is also reverse weave, but it's newer. Way the Pooh. This is a vintage one. I thought that was kind of cool. Probably keep that for myself. It did have a tag on it, but I guess uh, the tag went away. And then a Tennessee Volunteer sweatshirt. Uh, so yeah, that other guy bought a bunch of college stuff. He kind of ran to that first, and I ran to the sports jerseys. I didn't really see any good sports jerseys. Uh, so one thing I noticed is people who volunteer can even shop even earlier, which is completely understandable because if you volunteer there, good luck trying to shop at any part of the sale. Um, so they kind of get to shop a little bit early. So I wonder if somebody else out there might have like scooped up all the hockey jerseys or all the basketball jerseys. I don't think I saw one basketball jersey there. Um, and I only saw probably five or six baseball jerseys. So I guess uh, 
got to volunteer. I always said if they had a they had a sale around here. I would absolutely love to go to it. Um, I think it'd be awesome. It would really be awesome to have a sale like that around here. But I don't know if they can really get that kind of organization in this area. I think it's just incredible uh, from a business standpoint to do that. And I'm not going to say other people can't do it, but it is a lot of work. And I just don't know where it will fit in in this area. But it probably could. Uh, hopefully some sometime down the road someone will decide to do something of that nature. A couple other cool things. The baseballs. I don't know why I really grabbed these. But they're two for a dollar. They're brand new. They're a leather cover. Uh, I didn't end up finding one Major League Baseball out of that whole pile of our whole bucket. So that's a good, good find there. These are like $15-20 bucks brand new. Uh, and the resale value I use like five to ten dollars a piece. So that's always good. Uh, one Rangers hockey puck. I don't know who this autograph is. I was surprised. Some of these, some prices there are just so incredibly cheap. Like this is a dollar for an autographed baseball, and it's also another one of these major league baseballs. It's not like a little league ball. Um, it's got the hologram. It's from Steiner. I could probably even just punch in the numbers and figure out who it is. But for a dollar, I'm gonna grab it. Um, this is really like the money right here. Not sure what this is probably worth. Maybe 50 to 200. Heart of the Hide glove. Really, really cool. I know this model type's kind of hard to find, so it's kind of going to depend on if somebody's looking for it at that that exact time. I want to list it. But a nice glove here. Very, very cool. Any baseball people out there? This thing is crazy. Look at this. Like just they embossed the leather with that. It's just so random. It's just like a big block of font. So that's kind of cool. This one, I haven't seen one of these in a long time. This is one of the older Wilson A2000s from the mid-2000s. I was shocked to see that. My coach, uh, when I played travel baseball, had this same exact glove. I had to be 14 at the time, 13 or 14 years old. My coach had this same exact glove, and I always thought it was so cool. Um, but yeah, it was crazy to see it. It was only 20 bucks With the premium, I think, was that? So it's $25.00. I'm definitely going to grab that all the time. Uh, nice Wilson A2000. This one's like a $50 glove. I think it's a softball. Uh, the baseball gloves were $12 a piece. So this was $12, and this is $12, plus the premium. So they're like $15 or $14 each. It's kind of expensive for a rummage sale, but then again, it goes to a great cause. And, well, they're worth a lot more than $14. This one was, what did I say, $25 pretty much. So, yeah, $25. Jumping over here, I grabbed this one bobblehead. Not sure where I'm going to put them. Bobby Holik. I don't know why I really grabbed that. I did buy a bunch of hats. The hats were $2 each. And then there was a section also in the sporting goods where it was 3 for $2. Um, so, and same rules apply for the, the hats that were $2 each. They were buy three, get a fourth one free. We do have a Dolphins starter snapback. This one, I've had this a couple times. Uh, another Rangers hat. Kind of cool if you're sports fans. If you're not really sports fans, you're probably like, I don't understand what this is all about. But a lot of these gray bottom, new era Yankee hats, I did not pay $10. They must have been at a yard sale, and that's what they were, um, $15. But these things are coming back into style, and they're not making them anymore. And these are the real deal. These are the ones from the late 90s. These aren't reprints or remakes. Uh, but a whole bunch of them and uh, some of them aren't best sizes. So I think some of these yes yeah, so Some of these are like size seven some are six and seven eighths uh, Which is always tough you want like the seven and a quarter seven and a half seven and three eighths like this is six and seven eighths So it might be a little bit tougher, but I think for two dollars you sell one or two and you'll break even Some more hats as well older Mets hats Little A's hat here. These are kind of cool. These are more of the vintage. A little corduroy. New Jersey, New York path. Um, <laughs> I have a good story with that, but I'll say that for another time. Mount Rushmore. A little Subway Series hat. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Apparently this, uh, this string thing is coming back also. This, I don't know what you call it. Corduroy, not corduroy. Uh, it has a name. But it has a string on it. And then I don't know why I grabbed this. But everyone's always saying this stuff is hot. This dusty kind of stuff. Still with the tag. And then lastly, the micro machines. Which I'll open up at a future time. But you can see there is a lot of cars in there. 
Lots of cars. So I'll probably lot those up, see what somebody wants to give me. And that'll be that. But overall, another fun day. It got really, really warm out. Um, this sale is running through the weekend, so I'm posting this like 30 minutes after I'm done recording it. Um, well, I have to edit it, but it's being posted, I don't know, like at 3.30, 4 o'clock now, Eastern time. Uh, this sale does run through the weekend. It's open to the public now, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but it's supposed to rain. It gets very, very muddy in the parking lot, so if you can't park, I completely understand. Uh, if you don't have a vehicle that's going to be able to handle the mud, I don't know what to say, but uh, it's a great sale, and uh, you can always find some cool deals regardless of what day you go. I think Sunday is also a bag day, and then I think like half off day, maybe for like the hard goods. So yeah, check it out. If you guys want to check it out, it's AVN Rummage Sale in uh, Far Hills, New Jersey. So that's going to wrap it up here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed the video, smack the like button, subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. Till next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.